Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you guys the new products by Wet n Wild. And these are the new geometric highlighting powders and not one, not two, but three came out and I'm so excited to be sharing them with you guys because I've actually saw a picture on Instagram from my friend Darlene that had posted, oh my god, I will leave her Instagram down below. She is awesome. She's always commenting here on YouTube and then I follow her on Instagram as well. But she, like, I don't know how or what she does, but she is always posting pictures of like the latest and greatest in like new products that are coming out and she posts them like weeks before they launch. I'm like, girl, you are the best. Like, I love it. So she posted the a picture of these new um, highlighting powders probably like three or four weeks ago and I was like I need these and like I don't know what's going on but Wet n Wild is like keeping these a secret like I had stalked the web trying to find out when these were launching when they were coming out like what stores and whatnot and I still to this day could not find them and I happened to be going to Walgreens and I saw it and I was like they're there like oh my god so I literally rushed to pick them up when I saw them so these are sold at Walgreens that is the only place I have been able to find them is that Walgreens and they retail for $4.99 and to give you a little reference they are 0.2 ounces on each of these so they did come in three different shades and so I'd say that they had a cool shade a neutral shade and a warm shade as far as the let's start off with the cool shade this one is where the dreamers go and this is just a really pretty cool tone and they do come with a brush which is it's not that bad. I mean, it's actually not one of the worst brushes in the world, but I would probably never ever use that and I'm probably going to throw it away. But if you're someone that keeps them, it can't hurt to have that in a pinch like that. If that was the only brush you could use to apply these, like it's not the worst in the world. But this is what the cool tone one or what I'm calling cool tone is. And then again, this is where the dreamers go. And these are so cool. This one has kind of like a cream, a blue, and like a purplish pink shade in it. And so I like to swirl them all around. And there is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty kind of icy blue color when you swirl it all around. And then as far as swatching it, that is what it looks like. I mean, that is pretty darn pigmented for $4.99. I am so impressed by the quality. And so, again, this is just like a very icy, pearlized finish when you mix them all together. But I think that one is really pretty. And then the one that I have on my cheeks and my face today is the one I would consider neutral that has more of the champagne and rose colors in it. And this one is Desert Explorations. Again, get the point of this little brush out of there. This is what this one looks like. And this one has creams, champagnes, and like a dusty rose color. So I like to swirl them all together as well. And then this is what the, let's see what's this one, um, Desert Exploration looks like. This one you can see has more of a champagne color when you swirl it around. And then swatch, there it is might be a little hard to tell on my hand but it definitely comes up more of a champagne color in person and has just like the slightest pink undertone to it as well and then the last one which yields more of a warm tone and this one is sun ceremony and this one is really pretty so don't shy away if you're someone like me that has fair skin you can wear this one as well I think this one is really pretty and universal and this one has more of a yellow gold and like bronze colors in it so swirl them around one more time and then there you go you can see this one is definitely more gold so there is the last swatch it's right here so you had the first one which was cool tone the middle which is more of the rose champagne neutral and then more of the golden warm tone so I think these are absolutely stunning now this is not a highlighter where you're gonna be like BAM! Like highlight on fleek in your face. Like that is just not what they are. These are going to give you more of a subtle glow. I think they're absolutely stunning though on the skin. It's like it gives you a glow and luminosity to it without being like got a bunch of sparkles on your face like no I just have a really nice glow so that's the kind of look it gives off I think it's so pretty they're very 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 finely milled and I will say they're on the little bit of the stiffer side when you put your brush in there or when you put your fingers in there they have a more stiff like hard in the pan uh, kind of feel to them not hard pan but they're like definitely pressed into the pan now I will say the plus side of that is like there is absolutely no kick up when I'm digging around in there so I think these are really pretty for $4.99, I'm so impressed with the actual pigmentation, the color, and the payoff. I'd say they last anywhere from about 
mm, four to six, seven hours, depending on what products you're using underneath. You know, what primer you use, what foundation. Did you set your foundation before you went in with the highlighters? Things like that. So I typically will go in with a primer, foundation, set all that, and then go in with blush and highlight. So then I find that if you're not using that method, that maybe they could seep into the skin a little bit and disappear after like four hours. But if you're someone that goes in with all those steps, then you're going to be set. It's going to lay on top of the skin and last a little bit longer. So definitely probably like four to six hours, which I think is really good for a drugstore. And I was always really impressed with the Makeup Revolution brand and their highlighters, which are maybe around five or six dollars. But these are like so good for $4.99. So I even have the Makeup Revolution ones be right now for like really good quality and the price. But I think these are really pretty, especially for spring and summer. And I think they're going to be really good also for like people that don't want to wear a ton of makeup or you just want more of a natural look. Or maybe you're going for like a no makeup makeup look and you've got just like a BB cream highlight and lipstick on. I think these are so pretty. So I'm really impressed. I am so excited I could find them. Again, I could only find them at Walgreens and they're not on Wet n Wild's website. They're not at CVS's. They're not at Target. Like, I could not find them. Like, I've been searching for weeks ever since Darlene posted that photo. I was like, I had to have these in my life. So I was so excited that I finally picked these up and they are just so pretty for $4.99. I'm just so impressed by the quality the pigmentation, how easy they glide onto the skin, how easy they blend in with your blush. And I also think if you didn't want to do a highlight, you could do a really nice blush topper with them as well. Especially like this one, you could go over like a bronzer. If you're doing more of the bronze glowy cheek rather than like a contour or blush, you could do that. I think these two would be really pretty over blushes as well. And I also think these would be really, really great for inner corner of your eye, for highlighting underneath your brow bone, or even using as like a really pretty kind of um, eyeshadow or eyeshadow topper. So there's so many different ways you can use these products and I'm so excited I finally got my hands on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're excited to see these. And if you find them in your Walgreens, definitely pick them up for $4.99. They are a great value. I also think that these are one of those things that I love to travel with because if this were to break, like one, they're beautiful, they look great on the skin, but if it were to break, I'm not gonna have a freaking heart attack like I would if my Dior ones broke. So these are always great to travel with as well so then you don't have a heart attack. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, these are also limited edition. Um, it said it on a big pink sticker right here, but you had to take it off in order to open it. So they are limited edition. So if you see them, definitely, definitely pick them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review and swatches and found this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these which of the colors actually inspire you and which ones you that were really pretty and would want to pick up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!